Hi, John Delay here from Devay Genetics. Um, we're here on the farm of Cottle Morn in County Kilkenny. Cottle is currently milking around 300 dairy cows and we're just going to talk a bit about his breeding here in Kilkenny. So Cottle, would you maybe just give us a brief introduction to your herd and your land type and farm here? Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, sure, it, it's a very typical cow type, I suppose, here, um, you know, came off a very British Frisian base. Um, at this stage, you'd be kind of breeding off EBI, predominantly like looking for just a high fertile um, with good milk and good functionality, like that's no more, no less. Um, the land here is dry. The the, the farm is, is quite spread out in, on the milking platform, so you have long walks at different times of the year. So, Cahill, what kind of production are the cows doing currently? Or? Yeah, at the moment, they're, say last year, they would have um, supplied about 460 kilo, kilos of milk solids a cow, uh, over 4.5% butterfat and 3.75% protein. So the percentages are good, like, uh, I suppose, because of the fact that the herd is, is an immature herd, you know, there should be at least 10% more in that. So you'd expect with time, like, um, to get back up to where we were before, so not somewhere north of the 500 kilo mark. And who are you supplying? It, it's Glanbia would be the local processor here. Cahill, what is the breeding policy of this farm? Would you say what sires, what's the criteria you use to pick your sires on the farm? Yeah, with fertility number one anyway, because it's all about in, in a spring calving scenario, it's about the six week calving rate, like and, and having it as close to 90%. Um, that's been, in, in relative terms, an easy enough thing to achieve because of the, the age of the herd is a high percentage of heifers coming through and they're front loaded so as the herd matures fertility will become even more important number two is is kilos of milk solids uh butter fat and protein then maintenance we don't want the herd getting bigger in fact we probably want them coming down a small bit somewhere between 550 570 kilos uh, average herd size always positive on health uh, functionality will probably take a bigger piece within that to it as we look at would say the distance walking like just we, we need to be fierce conscious of, of that like of feet and legs I suppose listen daughter proven is the ideal but if you want to keep pushing the genomics of the herd itself you will use um, genomic sires but the, the, I suppose like anything like the recommendation is is to use fairly high numbers like last year we were using I think it was 16 bulls here like which is so adds a bit a, of, a team of bulls, so. yeah it's a it's been a great year for breeding in general, I think. Um, here, there's, there's one heifer empty out in 99, so that's one point whatever percent. Um, the cows, there's seven and a half percent empty, that, that's in 12 weeks breeding, which is good. Like, you know, there's room for improvement, but it's still good. But it seems whatever was in the air this year, um, everyone you talk to seems to have had a good year, which is, which is great. Like, you're using beef AI along with the dairy AI. What do you look for in a beef bull? Oh, calving ease. Um, a decent animal, but calving ease. But also just to match it with the cow. Like, um, would you would you use a mixture of of Belgian Blue, Hereford, and, and Angus? Um, you know, but but you still look at the cow the whole time in terms of what what you yeah, put so into you it. Like this year, in the spring gone, in the, in the calving season gone, it was probably the easiest year ever. I think there was five assisted calvings out of a good few. Uh, so like, it was just easy for whatever reason. Like in in a busy time, it just makes a huge difference. Uh, so what what market have you for your calves, your beef calves? Uh, well, sure, it's primarily a local market. Um, you know, so, so it's, there's a good few different people are back most years. So you repeat to, customers, repeat customers the coming the whole time. Like straws, the ice straws come from Dove, and that's uh, primarily down to the fact that they have a good selection of of semen available, but also they've good service and and the local uh, sales guy is Neil Neil Hart, and you know. He does a good job in fairness to him and, and that's worth something to me anyway.